everyone, this is Ulises Vega, real estate broker owner of Excellence Real Estate, the Vega team. I wanted to do a video and talk about some of the reasons why a property does not close escrow. Why do properties sell while other properties sit on the market for 30, 60, 90 days plus? In this market, no listing should go expired or not sell unless, guess what? you fit some of these uh, criteria that I'm gonna talk about. So I'm gonna jump right through them. Um, one, of the main, one of the many reasons is that a lot of times, sellers are too attached to their home. What do I mean by that? Well, too attached means if I don't get this price, I am not gonna sell. I put so much money into it and I brought this travertine tile from Rome, Italy. And if I don't get what I want, I am not gonna sell. That is not motivation. They're way too attached to their home. You should never be attached to a home. That's one of the reasons. Another one, your home is too cluttered. You have way too many things. Um, it just looks too overwhelming when a buyer family walks in and it's just things all over the place. I've gone to, uh, to see homes where I've shown them or I've gone to list them and just unbelievable um, it, it's overwhelming so again if you want top dollar for your home in today's ever-changing market give me a product or a home in this case worthy of top dollar price tag so if your house is too cluttered one of the things that I do with my clients we walk the home and I'm gonna advise you on some of the things that we should or shouldn't be having outside another thing is that they have a lot of their personal belongings outside, meaning their wedding pictures, their, their family pictures from the last 30 years, plastered on every wall of the house. Remember, you're selling your home. We should have those walls completely free and clear so that anybody that's looking to potentially put an offer on your home, they can see their wedding picture, they can see their child's graduation picture from kinder or from junior high, and not your own. Remember, you want them to fall in love with your house. I cannot see a picture of my kids on your wall if your walls are too busy and plastered with your own pictures. Don't take offense to it. A good realtor and broker like myself will advise you and guide you on some of the things to do to get top dollar for your home in today's changing market. Another thing, your home shows very poorly. Now, this isn't to offend anybody. What I'm talking about is very poor quality pictures. I've seen some pictures on the MLS that are a complete disgrace to the profession. Um, I've seen pictures that were taken from inside of a car of the front house, of the front of the property. And I'm thinking, you couldn't even get out of your own car and take a picture? Do I take pictures from my phone on, on a property? Absolutely, but those are the pictures that I use as coming soon. We always take professional photography, professional videos, 3D virtual tours. So if your realtor is putting pictures on the MLS that he or she took from their phone, if your house is already listed, your realtor should have given you a copy of the MLS so that you can see what your house looks like and how it's being showcased, marketed, so that you know, are you getting are you getting showings? Are you getting viewings? Are you getting any agents setting appointments? If your house isn't getting any traction over the over the over the first week or two, maybe the description on the MLS isn't really wowing anybody. Isn't isn't is it isn't painting a picture of how beautiful your home um, truly is? So. If the MLS description is poor, uh, potential buyers and consumers that are looking at Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, all of those websites, they're not gonna be wowed by the description and they're not gonna wanna call the realtor and set up an appointment. So poor description is gonna affect the desirability. Poor pictures, no professional video link, no 3D tour, especially during this COVID that a lot of families want to make sure that they take the necessary precautions and don't let just anybody walk in through their doors 
if you're not if you're not um, allowing consumers to view your listing through professional pictures, professional photography, uh, drone footage of the of the of the house, um, the community, a 3D tour of the house, you're doing a, a disjustice. Scare money, don't make money. So if you have a realtor that's been a, a, a bit on the conservative side when it comes to marketing your property, uh, maybe he or she falls into this next one. You hire the wrong realtor. In this market, you need an aggressive realtor, full-time real estate professional that knows the area. So it's like going to court. You want somebody that's gonna fight for you. I fight for my seller's equity. I fight and negotiate the best terms, the best deal, the best everything for my clients. So if you pick the wrong realtor and he or she is not aggressive enough, your, your house is gonna suffer, your house is gonna be on the market for 30, 60, 90 days, and you're gonna miss the opportunity to capture buyers that are actively looking in this area, in this market. We've had listings of ours that in four days, we had nearly 200 showings, confirmed showings. We've had 40 offers on a listing in four days. But again, professional pictures, professional photography, uh, virtual 3D tours. We also have staging available. Um, again, it depends on who you hire. You get what you pay for. A lot of uh, homeowners are so concerned with hiring the realtor that's gonna charge them the least amount of commission, but at the end of the day, the less you charge, the less quality, the less commitment the realtor's gonna have, because at the end of the day, they're gonna say, well, no, I didn't do a professional video. No, I didn't do professional photography. No, I didn't do a professional 3D tour because I'm only charging you 4%. You got what you pay for. You want it cheap? There you go, Mr. and Mrs. Seller. With the Vega team, we don't do that. It's our reputation. I've been doing this for 16 years and my name is on the line. The brand is on the line as far as credibility and future referrals. So don't just hire anybody. If you have any questions about this market, would love to do a Zoom conference so that we can go over how the market is in your city, in your town. I would love to do that. We also meet in person if you feel comfortable enough. We'll wear our mask, our gloves. We do everything sanitary to make sure that we never jeopardize um, your family's health and well-being. So please keep us in mind. Our phone number is 909-471-6483 and we would love to hear from you soon. Thank you again. And uh, please keep us in mind.